Welcome to the Soul 2 Reverse tutorial for Wipeout HD. Soul 2 Reverse is somewhat trickier than its forward counterpart. While you're still dealing with the same sharp corners, the approaches to them are somewhat different and it's very easy to lose control. So let's start by taking a look at the track on Venom Class. And now let's go through the track step by step. The course puts you on your toes right from the very start. This sharp left hander you see in front of you is immediately followed by a shallow right left right chicane. How well you exit this corner will determine how well you're able to take the chicane. To begin with you want to be approaching this first corner from the centre of the track. In a weapons race that will also take you over a weapon pad. You can also see here that the track rises slightly ahead. As you start going up this slight rise, slam on the left air brake and navigate the craft through the first turn. As the craft swings through, it's going to shift very quickly to the outside. As it does, use a left side shift to pull it away from the wall, and this will also take you over a second weapon pad. Once the craft is parallel with the track again, immediately switch to the right air brake and swing the craft into the light right ahead. You're going to be very close to the left hand wall as you exit though. Once into the corner, side shift over to the right and then tap the left air brake to set yourself up for the left bend. Keep using the left brake to guide the craft through this corner and then stay over to the right hand side to hit two speed pads. The next corner is probably the hardest in the circuit. It's a standard sharp left hander but the entrance to the corner is very nasty. If you look up ahead, you can see the entrance is peaked. What this means is if you enter the corner too quickly, you're going to be thrown badly into the back wall. If you wanted to take this corner carefully, you could always let up on the thruster briefly as you go over the peak. That way the craft will stay closer to the track and you won't be thrown so far over to the outside. However, if you want to be really daring taking this corner, you could use the height you gain to your advantage and you can actually barrel roll through the corner. So start by approaching from the right hand side. As the track radiance starts to increase, slam on the left air brake and turn hard into the corner. At this point you should have enough room to barrel roll, but whatever you do, do not let go of the left air brake. The boost is going to cause you to be thrown over to the outside. Quickly left side shift away from the wall and let up on the thruster if you need to. Let's have a look at this one more time. You need to approach like this if you want to have any hope of barrel roll in this corner. And whatever you do, don't start turning too late, otherwise you'll land on top of the outside wall and it will be very difficult to regain control. The next left hander is just as sharp as the one you've just done, but it is somewhat easier. It's downhill and it has a slight slope, which will help the craft navigate it. Approach from the right hand side and use the left air brake to swing the craft in. Try to be aggressive with the turn and pull the craft as close to the apex as you can. When it starts to swing back to the outside, use the left air brake or a left side shift to pull it back in line. The peak you see at the top of the track here is your last opportunity to barrel roll. It does swing round to the right on the other side though, so you're going to need to get your approach right. Start by moving over to the left hand side and then as you approach the peak, move back over to the right. Once you're in the air, barrel roll and then use the right air brake to pull the craft back in line with the track. You'll need to use the right air brake to keep the craft on the track once it lands as well. There is a speed pad on the right hand side near to the end of the open section. If you're too far to the left, you can use a right side shift to pull the craft towards it. The last corner can be taken simply with usage of the left air brake. There's a speed pad waiting on the left hand side on the apex of the corner. 
However, there's also a weapon pad on the outside of the corner near the entrance. If you want to hit both, swing the craft to the outside, hit the left air brake hard and pull the craft back over to the inside. Otherwise, just stick to the apex of the corner. And now let's see the whole lap done in full Phantom Class speed. Thanks very much for watching and good luck with the game.